Falcon here at Midlands today defies all logic as far as climate goes. Um, but yes, it all started off so well today. And of course, now that it's autumn, the first day of autumn, click and everything changes. But our weather watchers wasted no time in capturing the gorgeousness of the day earlier on. We had blue skies. And as you can see from this picture from Kenilworth in Warwickshire, a misty morning but full of promise. And temperatures in this part of the world eventually rose to 23 Celsius today. So warm and the last warm day of the the week, unfortunately for some, but for others, actually be glad of the cooler conditions and a little bit of rain. It's going to be fairly unsettled for a time. Uh, it has been quite dry in parts of the region, and then as we head towards the weekend, it's drying up, but the winds will be turning to northerly, so temperatures will be tumbling even further, um, and we could get some frosty nights ahead. But uh, this is the front that's currently affecting us, and it's to the north of us. And that's going to be moving southeastwards as we uh, head through tonight and into tomorrow. So ahead of it, the cloud has been thickening up, which is why it's cloudier right now. So through the night, uh, we'll see lots of cloud, but the temperatures with those southwesterly still holding up at around 13 to 14 Celsius, which is really quite warm for a night. And then towards the end of the night, preceding that front, we'll see a few showers breaking out. Now, through the morning tomorrow, as that front passes through, and locally some of that rain could be heavy, it's only a narrow band, uh, we'll see those winds turning to northwesterly. So by the afternoon, lots of sunshine, a few showers in tow, but temperatures are only fractionally higher than today's values, and there's a bit of a breeze tempering the feel of the day to highs of about 15 Celsius. And then on Thursday, with another system moving in, we could get some locally heavy downpours and windier conditions. It's even colder. Okay, Shafali, thanks. For